Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about matrices. So a matrix is a two-dimensional arrangement of number in rows and columns and closed by a pair of square brackets in the form shown. So here's a matrix. So it's a n times n matrix where n is the raw and n the column. So, the, so a matrix are used to describe linear equations, keep track of the coefficient of linear transformations, and to record data that depend on multiple parameters. So they can be added, multiply, and decompose in various ways, which also makes them um, a concept in the field of uh, linear algebra. So the subject of matrices has been researched and expanded by the, wor by the works of many mathematicians so who have found a numerous application of matrices in various disciplines such as economics. Now we are going to solve an exercise that shows the relation between matrices and economics. The company LTD has the following sales position of its product A and B at its two centers P and Q at the end of the year. If the sales for the first three months is given us Find the sales position for the last nine months. So since Y, which is here, uh, shows the sales position of the products A and B, and then Q uh, shows the sales position of the product A and B, the same, but Q shows the sales position for the, the first three months, and the Y shows the sales position for the whole year. So since the question is uh, what are the sales position for the product A and B for the remain, remaining uh, nine months, we will do uh, Y minus Q and I'll explain how uh, to find the, the difference between the two matrices. So it's quite simple. You have to take all the terms of the, of the two matrices and subtract so um, 50 minus 30 20 45 minus 15 60 minus 20 and 70 minus 20 so here we have the result of y minus q and we have the result so the sales position of the products a and b uh, in the remaining uh, nine months. Thank, thank you very much.